The sky has always been humanity's most ancient time clock. The movement and absence of the sun guides the day and night, and the months are measured by the phases of the moon, and every season begins with a solstice or an equinox. As the autumn season approaches in the northern hemisphere, the days begin to grow shorter, the nights become longer until we meet the days of the autumn equinox. In this video, we'll explore the concept of what autumn equinox is, take a look at some animations to understand the motion of the sun throughout the year, and how some of the star patterns in the night sky will shift as the seasons change. Welcome to Learn the Sky. My name is Janine, and I'll be your guide as we explore the night sky one constellation at a time. What is the autumn equinox? It's considered the first day of fall or autumn and one of the two days throughout the year in which the day and night are of equal length. If you break down the word autumn, it comes from the Latin term meaning harvest and equinox, if you break it down, means equal night. So put that together and you have the autumn equinox, which are equal parts day and night in the autumn and fall. The seasonal changes are all about how the orientation of the Earth changes as it circles around the sun. As the Earth goes around the sun, the angle at which the sun's light hits the Earth changes. During the equinox, the angle of the sun's rays are perpendicular to the tilt of the Earth. The Earth's tilt is neither away nor towards the sun, so during this time, the sun shines directly on the Earth's equator and we experience equal day and night. But during the solstice, the axis of the Earth is at its maximum tilt, so the sun either hits the Earth more directly in one part of the hemisphere, or on the opposite side of the hemisphere, it is spread out over a larger area. And in turn, because of this effect, the path of the sun in our sky shifts throughout the year. This is a great animation tool that you can explore yourself that shows you the paths of the sun and how it changes over the course of the year. So let's get acquainted. First, we have the black line, which is the celestial equator. And this is simply the Earth's equator projected onto the night sky or the celestial sphere. Now, the sun right here is on two lines. You can see the red line right here. This is the ecliptic or the path of the sun. And then this yellow line is the sun's path on any given day. So for May 6th, the sun travels along this yellow line on that pathway. Okay, so I'm going to hit animate and notice um, where my location is. So if you change your location on the Earth, the sun's path will also change as well. So this is about where I am right now as I'm recording this. So you can see, you can also spin this around, which is very helpful. And I'm going to hit animate. So let's just watch what the sun does. All right, and we're coming up on the equinox. So I'm going to try to hit this right on the line. So here is where the sun, the path of the sun meets the celestial equator. So that happens during the equinox times. And we have equal day and night. So now we're going to keep animating this and I'll try to pause it at the solstice. And that's when the sun is at its lowest point in the sky. So I'm way, I'm a little past it here, but you can see the sun's position changes throughout the year. So I encourage you to explore this animation. I'm going to give you another one in just a bit, and I'll put the link down below so you can use this as well. I want to share with you another great animation that helps explain why we have equinoxes and why we have solstices. So this will show us how the direction of the sun at either sunrise, or you can flip it to sunset, how it will change over the course of a year. So right here, we're about the spring equinox. I'm going to hit play. We'll try to pause right on the solstice. That's when the sun makes its northernmost journey along the horizon. Now we'll hit play again. We're arriving towards the the autumn equinox. And then if we hit play, again, this is about the time of the winter solstice where the sun is at its southernmost point along the horizon. And remember, you can switch this as well. And you can see how the sun changes around sunset time. 
All of the animations I use for today's video comes from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. They have this great astronomy simulations and animations website. There's so much here to explore, so I encourage you to go here. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Go through and explore some of this. It'll give you a greater understanding on all kinds of different topics about the sky, so go check it out. The experience of the autumn equinox will be different depending on which hemisphere you live in. I'm located in the northern hemisphere, so for us, the sun is rising later now and the nights are starting earlier. Temperatures are beginning to cool, the trees and plants are ending their cycle of growth, and we're starting to see nature's last blast of energy before the winter comes and everything goes quiet. Meanwhile, south of the equator, they experience the opposite effect. Life everywhere is beginning to reawaken after having longer nights and shorter days. From the stargazer's perspective, the star patterns and celestial objects begin to shift as well. The Milky Way is no longer present in the sky, so in the autumn months, we can peer deeper into the universe and see far away distant galaxies like the Andromeda Galaxy. The constellations begin to shift as well. We start to see Pegasus, Andromeda, Perseus, Triangulum, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Delphinus, and Aries will also come towards the end of the fall season as well. Thank you so much for watching this video about the autumn equinox. No matter where you are on the planet, we share this day together as the seasons change. And let me know in the comments, what is the autumn equinox like in your area of the world? For me personally, I love autumn because of the cooler temperatures, the changing of the leaves, and it's time to go apple and pumpkin picking. I'm a little sad to say goodbye to my summer garden, but I have to admit fall is definitely my favorite season. So as always, I encourage you to keep going outside, view the skies, take a friend with you, and keep looking up.